right, so we're going to talk about this irrigation system. This is a mechanical timer. It's an intermatic mechanical timer that goes to a valve. You can see right here. You got a valve, and then you've got a mechanical zone valve. This, when the system stops and starts, the mechanical valve spins. It's got two zones, a front and a back zone. These others are capped off, so we only have a two-zone system here. All right, so going here, this house has way too much water for this time of year. It's set, each one of those pins is 12 minutes. Right now, it's got two pins. It's got 24 minutes, okay, on a every other day cycle. I mean, it's on, it's on a twice a week cycle right now. And yeah, this one's twice a week. So it's coming on on Sundays and Wednesdays, all right? It's still too much water for this house. See, it doesn't matter if you have two days a week, but if it's too much of a volume of water, it's still gonna be too much. So I'm gonna remove is, whoop, two pins. And I'm gonna get this house down for the next, 30 days on just 12 minutes, twice a week. It's gonna stay on twice a week, which is the normal. Um, let me show you how this, this timer works too, by the way. If you get close to here and get close up, it's a 24 hour timer. This little pin right here tells the timer, there's a switch down here and it tells this little wheel to spin it. So if right now it's, it's around, what time is it a day? It's about two o'clock. What time is it right now exactly? 154. 154, okay, so it's pretty close, so we're good. All right, so you can see here, let me show you what happens. We're gonna focus it. This is the day of the week, and this is the time that it is right now. This is how you're supposed to have it, so you're measuring the time it is right now. If you turn this wheel, you're gonna see how that turns that wheel, and it changes the day of the week. So every time it goes around, that little pin, then right here, this pin is gonna set off a switch and sets off that switch to turn it on. It isn't turning on right now because we have a, a, a sensor. We gotta check if this sensor pin is any good. It's not turning on. This sensor might be full right now because it rained uh, probably uh, a couple days ago and it isn't turning on. It should be turning on the system, it is not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect it. We're gonna put it back at two o'clock. We're gonna put it at today's date, which is a Wednesday. We're gonna spin that wheel, match that wheel with that. That's today's date. It turned on today, so it turned on for way too long. So we're gonna come back probably in seven days, test it again, test the soil, see what the different readings are, and see if we've actually got a good amount of irrigation. It's never gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be better than, than having it the way it is right now where we got way too much water. So that's how you would you adjust. This is, this is a two week timer, by the way, right here on days. So for 14 days, so it's on right now. These two days are on. These two days are on, they're pulled out. If you push them down on an intermatic, it turns them off, okay? And now we're gonna see why this is happening. So we can, yeah, this little timer is damaged. This, this thing right here isn't proper, so it really needs replacing. Um, and then we just lost one of those little things, all right? But that little piece, this basically is a switch. And what happens with these little cardboard pieces in between, they swell up when you have water. This is how a, time, um, a rain sensor works. This thing swells up and shuts off the, the, the system. So what we're gonna do is, right now, this is not working properly. It needs really a new switch. And we're gonna put it there so it doesn't swell too much and see if this thing turns on. Um, if the bypass switch, and there it is, it just turned on.